Hello there, in this video I will show you how you can test capacitors on a mobile or laptop PCB. If you take a close look at this PCB right here, you will see that we have a lot of components in the PCB, but we will be focusing on testing capacitors only using a multimeter. So right here, I need to show you where you have to set your multimeter. I use a small multimeter right here so that you can actually see it when i place it right here while testing the pcb so if you look at your multimeter you will see that your multimeter has different ranges right here and if you are still new to testing components you need to know how to use all this but because we are only focusing on testing capacitors right here we will be using only the the, the range in which you need to use to test capacitors on a mobile pcb or laptop pcb a laptop and mobile pcbs use the same type of capacitors you understand so for you to be able to test capacitors in your mobile pcb your, your multimeter is always off right so this is our off range in our multimeter so for you to test capacitors in a mobile PCB or laptop PCB when troubleshooting, you have to set your multimeter to the buzzer mode right here. So right here we have the buzzer and diode mode in the same place. So this is where you have to set your multimeter. Once you set your multimeter, you will have your two probes. You will have the two probes of your multimeter. So to test and see if a capacitor is damaged, you have to set your multimeter it's blurry right there but i think that you will be able to see the numbers and if you want my professional level course you can send me a message on whatsapp and you will be able to get my course starting from the basics to the schematic level and the professional level of troubleshooting and solving mobile phone faults okay great so right here let's test some capacitors in this mobile pcb so this pcb right here is actually a samsung tablet pcb and we are going to also test in a normal mobile pcb as well so this is a samsung mobile pcb and this is a samsung tablet pcb so there are different ways to test them because as you can see right here this mobile PCB has less capacitors than this one. If you just take a look right here, you will see. So we are going to go through them step by step. So right here, for you to test these capacitors, we are going to look at the capacitors right here. So this, this brown components are capacitors. And if you don't know how to identify all these components, you can check the video on this video description that will show you how to identify capacitors, resistors, diodes, and inductors. You understand? So for you to test, please, your black probe to the ground so what is the ground what is the gnd in this mobile pcb the gnd is what we call the ground so you see this area right here see this shield right here you see this uh, area conducting area right here so this is the gnd if you check right here you see that this is the gnd which means that you can place the black probe of your multimeter anywhere right here before you start testing you understand so I'm going to place mine right there. So be looking at the reading in your multimeter. So if I test one side, one side of this capacitor, you will see that it gives a reading, a zero ohm reading right there. It actually shows when that's a zero ohm reading. And if you listen, you will see that your multimeter is given a beep. So which means that this side of this capacitor is connected to the GND of this mobile phone you understand so if you test a capacitor right here and it beeps you need to expect not to hear a beep in the other side as you can see right here it doesn't give a reading it doesn't give a reading which means that this capacitor is functioning perfectly but if i switch the probes this way put it in the ground then test the other side of the capacitor that does not read it's going to give a reading but if you check right there you will see that it's a high reading it's not a low ohm reading which means that there is nothing like a half shorting or a full shorting in this capacitor or in the track in which this capacitor is connected to 
you understand and by placing the red probe to the gnd and using the black probe to test you'll be able to get the readings of capacitors in which if you would set the black probe in the gnd instead you won't, you won't get that reading but it's still the same way but this method that i'm using by placing the red probe in the gnd is called cold testing because you'll be able to get the reading in reverse mode in reverse testing you understand so when testing one side supposed to beep the other side supposed to get a reading when using reverse testing which is a cold testing right here but if you reverse the probes and you test one side will beep and the other side will not give any reading so right here this capacitor is okay and if i test all these ones you will see the same thing i test all these ones you will see the same thing you understand so if i test like these ones right here you will notice that in some mobile pcb you will test a particular capacitor in a particular section of a mobile pcb that will not beep in any of the sites i'm going to explain that in this other samsung pcb right here i'm going to explain that so if you watch this video till this point you will understand something very important okay looking at this mobile pcb right here you will see that it has a lot of capacitors more than the tablet that we are working on so in this type of mobile pcb it will be very complicated for you to actually understand the reading of the capacitors because if you check right here let me bring this closer okay great if you check this section right here you'll see that these are all capacitors right here a lot of capacitors in one section so actually if i test these capacitors they're going to beep in both sides or give a very low reading as if they are shorting but i'm going to explain what is going on with the capacitor so if i test this you will see that it's beeping if i test the other side you will see that it actually has a very low reading and if i test these other ones right here that they are being in line there are a lot of them in one line you will see that they are beeping in both sides so because they are beeping right here doesn't mean that the capacitor is bad it all depends on the section in which the capacitor is placed in the mobile pcb so integrated components like a cpu and the emmc might cause a very low reading in capacitors that you you might think that the capacitors are shorting and remove them meanwhile they are not shorting so in this type of case it's very complicated to know if a capacitor is shorting actually shorting right here or not but the best way to test and know if the shorting is being caused by the, the the integrated component which if you turn around right here you will see that we have our cpu right here we have our main cpu right here so we need to know if the cpu is actually the component causing the the capacitors right here to act as if they are shorting and while they are not the only way to test that is to remove the chip so actually if you remove this chip right here these capacitors right here will stop beeping but you need to keep in mind that the capacitors are round the CPU capacitors, we call them CPU capacitors, the CPU capacitors, it's very hard for them to be shortened because they do not use a high amount of voltage. Mostly the voltage in these capacitors is not even up to 1 volt when the phone is operating. You understand? So you need to test the ones, the ones that you need to focus on are the ones around the power section. You see it is the power manager unit right here. If you check right here. This is the power manager IC. If you check these components, you can see that these are power capacitors right here. So you need to take note of the reading. You need to take note of the reading. If you read, you can see that it doesn't beep and it beeps right here. And if I reverse, if I reverse the probes, you will see that it gives a reading. Gives a reading then beeps in this side. And uh, what I want you to also understand is that there will be some capacitors in a particular section in a mobile PCB which won't beep in any side but will give a reading if you test them side by side. So if you are testing and you come across a capacitor that doesn't beep, let me see if I will be able to see any. I'm not able to see any but you will be able to see some capacitors in a particular section of a mobile PCB that do not beep on any side but the only way to test those capacitors is to test them side by side you see how I'm testing right here to test them side by side and even if you are troubleshooting and you notice that a capacitor is shorting 
you test and you notice that the capacitor is shorting in a mobile PCB, the best thing for you to do is to remove the capacitor, then check the position in which the capacitor was in to see if the position is still shorting. And you can also remove the capacitor and test it out of the motherboard because other components in the motherboard can cause the capacitor to be shorting. That's why when troubleshooting problems like shorting in a mobile PCB, you might remove test a capacitor and it's shorting, you remove it, but still the board will still be shorting. And you might remove a couple of capacitors before you see the particular capacitor that was shorting. That's because when it's connected in parallel, one component that is shorting the both sides of the core in the mobile PCB will short all the, the components that are being connected in parallel in that motherboard. So I hope you enjoyed this video.